My name's Kerry Mokes. I am the Programme Leader, Principal Lecturer for Early Years and Childhood Studies in the Faculty of Education. And my main teaching responsibilities are in the context of children's learning and development. The activity aimed um, to get students to do something before they came to start with us. So it was an pre-induction activity, um, which was sent to them through the um, Moodle page. And the intention of it was for them to really think about what childhood meant to them and see if it's possible to capture that in a, in a jar um, so that they could bring that into the session and talk about that with their peers. Um, it was important to really get the students to think that this was um, a learning experience that was going to build on what they already knew and what experiences they already have, rather than them coming to university and feeling overwhelmed by us giving them information. They were going to bring information to us. It was quite interesting because I took one of the groups um, for this session in the induction and we, we put it deliberately towards the middle of the week so that they'd had a chance to have some input, get to know each other a little bit and then really um, this was a session where they had an opportunity to really talk. Um, there was mixed take up in the group, not all students had done a jar but that was okay because um, we then said to them, well, what would you have put in your jar if you'd have brought one? And they were able to write that down. So then in groups, they just started to share their jars, talk to each other about the things that they'd included and elaborate on why they'd included them. So it was a really rich opportunity for them to start to get to know each other and understand a little bit more about their backgrounds. From an academic perspective, they were also bringing out all of the themes that they were going to study in the different units on the programme. So as the tutor, I was able to say, for example, you'll look at gender in your children, families and diversity unit and, of course, children's learning and development. So it also felt less intimidating. Well, I thought it might feel less intimidating if they were talking about the contents of a jar rather than just those things that I find quite difficult, those icebreakers where you introduce the person next to you. And this felt a little bit removed, a little bit detached, but it's also something that they've really had to think about. As a result of doing this with the first year undergraduates, we then transferred this idea and used it with a group of um, early years practitioners who are involved in a project uh, called Too Curious and asked them to put a two-year-old in a jar and it was fascinating, a completely different uptake but a fantastic opportunity to probe what childhood is about, what being two is about, what the challenges of working with two-year-olds are and again a, a situation that was practical and not threatening to the practitioners um, it was an exploration of what they're, do, they're already doing and they're doing really well. I think I, I personally am always searching for different ways of, of engaging with students. I, I look at objects as I would as a classroom teacher, I think, and all sorts of junk when you're a teacher is fantastic for the children. So it was probably a jar that made me think, what could we do with that? Um, it is really important because I think... It's important not to become stale and try new ways of doing things. And I, I do really appreciate that they're scary and they're, they can be quite uncomfortable for the teacher because you're taking on a different role. But they're also really exciting and the feedback from some of the students on that day in that session was really positive and they left that session I felt buzzing and really excited about the course. So on that level, I felt it, it made them feel secure and excited. Thank you for watching this Good Practice Exchange film. You can find lots more teaching ideas and resources on our website.